Hey everyone, I'm Mine, and welcome to the 43rd episode of the Woo Crew Podcast. I'm here, as always, with my co-host, When the Imposter is Sus. When the Imposter is Sus. <laughs> and we're here to talk... Don't shake the camera this week, That Matthew. was an accident. I just broke my desk. <laughs> and we're here to talk about all... Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> we're here to talk about all things in the Lego world this week. Uh, hopefully, Matthew does not have a delay in the footage this week. Um, we'll oopsie. see. Don't know what happened with that. He just fell out of sync, but hopefully this week is good. But anyway, we're here to talk about Lego. We will start this week's discussion as we have the past two weeks with the discussion of the uh, past two Ninjago episodes that have been released, Seabound episodes five and six, and then we'll move on to other things in the realm of Lego news. So, Matthew, you just watched Seabound episodes five and six. How do yeah. you feel about that? Uh, when you kill your father and commit war crimes? <laughs> relatable moment oh, spoilers by the way <laughs> uh yeah i love um it's honestly a pretty cool reference to a myanmar um what it's a pretty topical reference like myanmar and military coup and all that you know i don't i don't know what's going on oh, come on world politics sean i don't know world politics all i know is the lego ninjago um they commit a military coup on ninjago that is funny yeah, um, Her... I'm very, I'm very much enjoying this season though. I yeah. like the tone it's going for. Like, it's like I see some people comparing it to SOG, and I don't think it's gone that far. But it reminds me a lot of Skybound. Yeah, and that like it has a quite like, uh, like an emotionally charged story. I feel like it's not just like it's a real silly story. Nin- yeah, it's not just silly ninjas fight. Not that the other seasons haven't been, but like uh, I feel like Prime Empire is a little more lighthearted than this one is. Um. And I, I like that we're getting, like, moments for different characters. Like, that we had a really good Jay moment in episode 5. Yeah. Yeah, like, I am very much enjoying this season. I and... really like Jay's moment. I don't think we have a ton to talk about with these two episodes, though. They felt, not filler-y, but, like, they're kind of, like, the meat of the story. And this Right, they're just setting up, they're setting up what's to come. Yeah. Um, I really like, I know we talked about it last week, but I really like the main villain. Uh, yeah. His, yeah, yeah. His, name, his name's escaping me right now. What's uh, it, uh... Calamar, or... uh, Calmar, Ka- Ka- yeah, Calmar, um, and then he. I really hope we get his brother in the sets. I Beth. agree. Um, I, I just, I, I hope we, <laughs> I hope we do because we get usually get one side character per season, mm-hmm. and there looks to be multiple this season. So, I'm not sure which one's actually going to appear in the sets, but so I have a theory. Yeah. Oh wait, I actually don't know if I can talk about that. Um, we've convened, um, and my theory is just that the markings on, what's his name? Benthamar. On Benthamar's face are very similar to, um, something that we are not allowed to talk about, um, on a, on a... Character, and there may be some relation there. Yeah, and being as, we don't know the entire lineage of this, can I say what character? It's so hard to talk, I hate... (laughs) Like, everyone knows what it is, but we can't talk about it. It's just, you know what we're getting at. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But yeah. I don't think we should say anymore. <laughs> uh, I hope what I'm saying gets the gears turning in your head to maybe look a little further into <laughs> what I'm saying. But yeah. I have a theory that they might be related in some way. Well, on a totally unrelated note, we do know that Nia's power has come from Ojira, not the first Pujitsu Master. Yes. So perhaps there's some link there. I am yeah. curious what... Like, what Benthamar actually is, because he doesn't, uh, he's not a Hydro Whipper, but he's also that, not a squid. That's why my theory, that's why my theory yeah. is, like, I feel like there's some real possibility to it. I also noticed he is, something I've always been fascinated about in the, like, world of Ninjago is, there seems to be, like, another race similar to humans, which we've seen in Ultraviolet, Killo, and Shade, mm-hmm. who is who are these, like, gray-skinned, black hair characters, and Benthamar looks similar to them, but with more aquatic features. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if they're like if like Shade and Killer and everybody are like the like the part of that that group that come from the same group of people, and those guys evolved to live on land. Um, while Benthamar is part of a group that stayed under the sea. Something else to take into account is there is another continent in Ninjago, and being as that's the Dark Island, it would make sense that those characters, like the darker, like the darker looking characters, come from the Dark Island. Yeah, that would, that's true. So it's possible that they're just, like, a different, like, a different ethnicity, kind of? 
Like, I see, it, my my thing, the reason I don't think it's an ethnicity is, number one, because yellow is tends to be what LEGO uses for people, just all ethnicities. And number two is specifically well, Killo. Killo's size is non-human. I'm, I'm saying ethnicity because Ninjago is fantasy. And it would make sense that they do want to die. Like, being as Ninjago is such a big world, it would make sense that they diversify it in some way. And their way of diversifying, like, ethnicity could be, instead of, like, human skin tones yellow and like super pale white like vampire looking people yeah like well i i was thinking it would be it would be less like uh real life like european versus yeah. native american it's more like in fantasy like elves and human dwarves. versus elven yeah. like this is cuz i they don't like well, i guess they very well could but they're not they're not creating characters with huge elf ears but like just different races it, of humanoids, I in guess. In some ways, it's one of the most subtle fantasy races I've ever seen because it isn't elf or dwarf. Like, it is yeah. very clearly a different species or race or ethnicity of some sort, but it isn't, like, in your face. Like, it's very integrated. Yeah, well, that's... Uh, and it's not It's not only the... There's a few. There's, uh, obviously, Vania's people from Mass of the yeah. Mountain, all well, the people of Shintaro. They're, they're, Shintarans are their own thing. Merlopians are obviously their own thing. Islanders are obviously their own thing. Yeah, the, but the Merlopians, at least, I like. They're clearly not human. Yeah, they may they have some humanoid traits. Same with the the whippers and everything. But uh, yeah. the 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 people from Shintaro, the the gray skinned people, obviously regular uh, humans that we know from Ninjago, and then even the Islanders, I think too, all are like very very similar to just like classic Lego yellow, but have like little things that make it, and they. Share traits. That's the, is so, all the gray skinned people have black hair, and and Kilo's size is another because we've never seen like a yellow minifigure of that size. Something but, else to um think about is um is it possible that the uh the gray skinned people are like corrupted Shintarans of some sort? Like uh, there could be like some relation because there, yeah, uh, like the Shintarans seem like a like a pure version of the. Like, yeah, zombie looking. I don't know. I don't know. There's. It would be cool if they explored that. I don't. Yeah, think I. Will, I, but... I think the honest answer is is the designers want to make characters look different, so they're yeah. like, ah, make this one gray. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I like theorizing about things that aren't explicitly like said by the show, and I love the idea of different like fantasy species and races and stuff because I think that's cool, and it's like, uh, it's just a nice way to diversify the world. Yeah. And then, he, obviously, even there's the Gekko and Mons, which are, like, more, like, less human-like than the the other three I mentioned, but they're still, like, they have a lot of human features. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's I don't cool. know. Anyway. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, um, anything else? But yeah. Uh, um, something else, I want to just touch on it. Um, I've not watched it yet, and I don't know if you have, but the, um, as of today, you are able to watch Ninja Whips, um... Ninja Whip and a few other people. It's not just him, but yeah, I know. They're... Isn't he like? Wasn't he like the mind behind it though? Uh, yeah, he was. I think it was him and two other people. It was like a group effort, but yeah, um, he was one of the main people behind. The it. Uh, the Ninjago documentary, like fan made, was released. Yes. I've not watched it, but knowing what I know about him and how much effort I've seen go into this, it's probably really good. So yeah, no, I will probably talk about that next week yeah. or the week after like i i haven't gotten around to watching it yet either because i wh when he said ninja documentary i assume it's gonna be like an hour 30 or something but it's like two hours 45 which yeah. i think is awesome and i'm very excited to watch it but i ha i did not have that I, time in my day to I sit down and watch it yet so for like nine hours today so but i'm very very excited to see it also i'm in it i'm in that really yeah, I filmed the clip for it where I just oh. talk about Ninja. I talk about you. I talk about how I met my best friend through Ninjago. Aw. I know. Isn't that cute? Um, I, I did I, I, I did skip to that part to see myself. Cause... Okay. <laughs> but I'm not... He used that clip. I also answered two other questions. I'm not sure if those two made it in. But well, I'll see when I watch the full thing. Hopefully I'll be I'll have time to watch it this week so we can talk about it next week. But um, yeah. it is long. So Yeah. But, but no, I, I highly encourage people to check it out because from what I've heard, people really enjoy it. I've talked to Ninja Whip. I know he is very proud of it. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I think that would be a great uh, great thing for you guys to check out. And I just wanted to put that out there. Like, I, they, like they interview the cast and crew. I know there's tons of like unused concept art in there too. Like, lots of cool stuff. And maybe, I will have more to say about it once I watch it. Maybe but. they'll. Maybe you know what? They should make a sequel just figuring out where the snake train is. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> release the snake train. Can we start like a Twitter campaign, like release a side cut for hashtag release the snake train? But I feel like it could be way more clever than that, like hop on the snake train or something. <laughs> Let the snake train ride again. Yeah. Uh, if you've watched this far, and you probably have, because it's like 10 minutes in, comment, <laughs> hashtag, release the snake train. Snake train off the rails? Um, re Off the rails and onto your shit, that doesn't no, rhyme. No, re well. the snake train. <laughs> the thing is, it was never the first, okay. Mm -mm. the snake train. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's. No, I'm gonna, I think I'll bleep that. Okay. And people can guess what what was said there that we did. That we didn't even on purpose. No, I. But the funny part was is I said it and then I realized and then you said it after because you didn't realize that I had. You didn't realize what I had realized yet. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So Next what time. what do we want what do we want the hashtag to be? Um. Um, hashtag release the snake train. Yeah, release the snake train. I think that's simple. That's can't not be interpreted any other way. <laughs> I feel like if you don't know what Ninjago is talking, like what what we're talking about, it could be interpreted in other ways. But okay, let's stop that discussion now. Um. Anyway, C bound good. Words. I'm very excited for what's to come for C bound. Uh, Nia Nia's a good character. Jay good character. Everybody good character. I miss Kain Cole. Um. I'm curious where they will come in. Oh, also, I one thing I I, I like two more things. I liked how they mentioned the keepers in the island. I expected that to happen, but it's just cool to see them reference earlier stuff. Um, and number two, uh, Electro Whipper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to. I keep. I kept thinking of it, but I forgot to actually mention it. Yeah, uh, that's a what third or fourth type of whipper. That's our third whipper. Yeah, it's our um, it's our fourth whipper head though, because we also have Char. I know. Yeah. I know your chart said he's not a whipper, and he is not yeah. a whipper, but it is that head. Yeah, I, though technically fourth whipper, if you count uh, the 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 one with the robot legs, is a different whipper. But he's really just a hydro whipper with funny legs. He's a hydro whipper who's who went to the hydro whipper war. Yeah, he's a hydro whipper who's just simply built different. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I put that on my chart. I said, <laughs> I said he's still a hydro whipper. He's simply just built different. Yeah. Um, I've heard people refer to him as, oh, I used, I called him Professor Whipper at first. I know Brooke Henry calls him Scholarly Whipper. Uh -huh. I think, I think part of the Whippers, though, is they have to end with an O. Pyro, Hydro, okay. Electro. Yeah. Um, it, cause so, also, now we have Whippers for three different elements. If, uh, if we get Earth and Ice, we can have Geo Whipper and Cryo Whipper. Yeah. <laughs> well, what is, what is Brain Whipper? What? What's like the smart whipper? What's his name? Oh, I, I, I don't know if we're doing all the elements. I'm just talking about like the ninja's elements. I know, no, no, but like robot like whipper needs an O name. Oh, oh, I don't know. Um, Braino whipper? <laughs> no, like that sounds like Drano. Like, was he a plumber? <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you could name for Glutinous as a whipper. That's his name, Glutinous. What a funny name. I like I, I I posted on Twitter like a picture of Electro Whipper and I'm like, yo, what are we calling this guy? This guy, and people in the comments were like, oh, uh, his, they say in the show his name is Gripe, and I'm like, I don't care what they call him in the show. He's a whipper. He needs a whipper title. Um, the title of this specific Electro Whipper may be Gripe, but he's still an Electro Whipper. Like this video if your name is Glutinous. <laughs> uh, dislike this video if your name is Gripe. And I'm named also after. like this video if your name is not Glutinous. Amen. Amen, brother. <laughs> Amen, brother. But uh, now I kind of feel like they have to make two more whippers, right? Yeah. Just... Like, I know everyone's like, oh, Ninjago uses snakes too much. Please just let them use snakes enough so we can get a whipper for every element. And then they can move off the snakes. Yeah, yeah. I, uh... I don't know, their episode descriptions have leaked for the final episodes, and I have a thing I want to say, but I'll wait on that, because I don't want to spoil it for the audience if they okay. haven't seen it. We'll talk about it afterwards. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. So, Lego Harry Potter sets have leaked. Let me actually pull those up so that the 
viewers can see them. I would like to these pull I out. had the press kit for like a week in advance, and I filmed a video and I forgot to plug in my mic, so it's on campus, and I go to edit it, and I just don't have audio, so I never that, have a news video that for is these. Awesome. Um. Anyway, uh, let me pull them up for the audience. Okay, okay now we're on to it. Thank you, the Brick fan. Okay. Um. <laughs> so we're gonna go through each of the sets and give our thoughts on them. Uh, so first we got the Polyjuice Potion Mistake, Girl's bath. which is unfortunately not called the Girls' Bathroom. However, this makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Because <laughs> when that set name, I was like, I was like, there is no way they're releasing a set called the Girls' Bathroom. Um, and honestly, this is like, this is like classic Lego set naming. I feel like I I don't like current Lego set. Like it's a little thing, but a lot of current Lego set names are just like search engine optimization. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I so know what you mean. This one actually feels like a classic Lego title, so I, I like that. It's little, but whatever. But this set's really good. I will get this set. It's really good, and I like it even more now that I know that it integrates into the giant castle, and you can, like, if you put it in a certain place, you can open the bathroom up and put them through a slide. That's so cool. Yeah, I it's really cool. I love that. The figures um, in the set are incredible, too. You get four exclusive figures for $20, mm -hmm. which is not bad. And not only honestly, four... in some ways, you kind of get, like, six figures because harry and ron are two care like they're four characters there yeah because it's crab and goyle and also harry ron and hermione yeah and the harry and ron have new face prints and hermione is the new cat head so yeah yeah it's a pretty incredible it's a pretty incredible set yeah i don't I, have i probably picked two of this set up i'll only get one because i'm not as big of a harry potter fan as you but i really like this set. i think it's really also good. you could just throw your morning myrtle minifigure in there and it'll, like it'll display really well with it because this is it, her bathroom it is a shame she wasn't included here. Like, but she's still available. So. She's still available at some point. Maybe by the by the time these come out, that might be. Dude, pay. I can still go to most Barnes and Noble and buy Disney CMF, and that's over two years old. Okay, I guess yeah. I don't think that's gonna be the situation for everybody, but yeah, I think no, but, this set would have been better if it released alongside the CMF, but. But it's okay. It yeah, at least totally at least Money Marvel exists as a figure. Um, and I just want to mention it here, so we don't have to mention it every time. Um, we're getting collectible cards in this, I guess, similar to video. I like that, but I also want to be able to get all of them, and I don't want it to be super difficult. So yeah, you probably want to brick link the ones you don't get. Probably. I mean, that's okay. But yeah, those are those are creative. I want to see them do that for more things. Like I would. Could you imagine? Um, you Ninjago. Know how, yeah. Well, you know how they sometimes do like the classic Ninjago cards as stickers. Yeah. Could you imagine like random ones of those printed? In every Legacy set, you get, like, two or three. Yeah. Or every even just else. one in every Legacy set. Like... Yeah. That would be so cool. <laughs> Agreed. All right, uh, next up. Fluffy uh, and Cat. Holy crap, this set's 40 Yeah. Oh, I thought it was 30 and I thought it was, like, a mediocre $30 set. No, it's expensive. Ooh. This is maybe the worst Harry Potter set of, the like, since 2018. This may be the worst Harry Potter set ever. I don't know about that. Not kind but... of the original, like, of, like, the latest release like that's what, I, that's what i just said oh i thought you meant like there was worse ones in 2018 no yeah. no, no no like since the reboot yeah uh yes i want wholeheartedly agree like fluffy himself or herself i don't know the gender of that three-headed dog oh uh, either fluffy themselves is all right right like it, it's fine the set ain't <laughs> the set's not the set's definitely not good and the dog's not even that great like I will get this, because I buy every Harry Potter set, but I will get this at at least 20% off. Hey, at least you get Golden Hermione. Hermione. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this one's not that intriguing. Um, I like the harp build. That's kind of interesting. The harp is cool. Um, but the castle is just generic Hogwarts extension, and it's not necessary. Like, I, I don't feel like I need this one that no. much. And the rooms are so empty so that they can fit the dog. Like Yeah. And yeah, it's this one's pretty lame. And forty dollars yeah. is like thirty I thought was kind like I just thought it was a boring thirty dollar set before like piece count wise thirty's fair, but just like piece count wise forty is fair, but just seeing what you actually get here, that's really disappointing. It kind of reminds me of the night bus, another forty dollar set that's kinda of disappointing. I and thought that set was thirty two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's really funny. Um, anyways, moving on, because I don't have much more to say about that. Uh, Hogsmeade. This is my favorite set of the wave. Like, I don't know why I don't like this set that much. It just doesn't really... I, like, objectively, I could acknowledge well, it's really good, but... 
my my second favorite has pushed up to kind of tie this one. I will say that. I'll yeah. say my second favorite when we get to my, my second favorite when we get to it. But that one is might surpass this one just because I've had more time to look at it. Yeah. Um, this one's really exciting. I've really wanted Hogsmeade for a very long time, and it's the two buildings I've wanted from Hogsmeade. So yeah, I I'm excited about this. It it's really cozy looking, which I like. Um, I don't know why, but I have a really fond memory of playing the Hogsmeade level from the fifth book, like on Christmas morning at my grandparents' house when I was like growing up. And in the, it was in the like a Harry Potter game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just have like a really good memory of that, and this set like is the embodiment of that. So I'm biased towards this set. Yeah, no, I think like objectively it's pretty good. It just doesn't really interest me. I like that we're on the curly hair and that tan color. I think that or that <laughs> orange color. That's pretty cool. Um. I also like the um, Dean Thomas minifigure. Yeah, no, he's really good. I was going to say that, yeah. He's good. He, he, Dean Thomas is a character I literally could not care less about, but that's a really good figure. Yeah. Um, also, I just always appreciate when we get non-white skin tones in Lego, and I believe it's, it's that's... It's a... more and more. Yeah, I believe that's a new face print for him, too. I'm not positive. It is. Yeah, it is. so that's really cool. Um, The Honeydukes... Pair, like, the Honeydukes people are good figures, too. Like, yeah. I just fine background characters and harry's not new so yeah yeah i i like this set hey I, you forgot one who golden ron oh right the highlight of the set <laughs> um, i'm sorry these golden figures feel so out of place in all of really the sets do. like like the ninjago figures felt like so elegant and they like obviously they didn't fit the set but they like fit the theme and these just like why you just look at this and it's just like why is that there <laughs> I don't know. Um, I will say I like the I like the tavern more than I like Honeydukes. Um, yeah, that one just looks really nice. Um, but yeah, I, I like this set a lot. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, next up, this is my second favorite. This set is surprisingly like really good. This is my favorite and the one I know for sure I'm getting. I'll probably get the gold, girls' bathroom too, but those are the only two like for sure for sure I'm getting. And I'm mainly getting yeah. them getting this one. For these, the, the stone Asphira heads. I mean, also, it's a good Harry Potter set to be, like, one of the only ones you have. Because if you get this in girls' bathroom, you'll have, like, the entire main cast. Yeah, no, that's part of their... It, it's not just the... I, I, like, if, if this set was terrible, I would just bricklink the Asphiras. But, um, the... Like, the set itself's really pretty. And it's, like... I feel like it's a comprehensive, uh, like, Hogwarts yeah. without... I... I honestly think, as much as I love the original Great Hall and the newer Astronomy Tower, this is the best Hogwarts they've released ever. Yeah. Because of how much is included here. Yeah, you get it gets... the Great Hall. It's not super detailed, but you do get the Great Hall. You get a, what, like three, cla two classrooms, um, and the entire Chamber of Secrets. Yeah. Plus a ton of really good minifigures. Dude, the figures and... are insane. Like, all right, oh. so. Yeah, let's go left to right here. <laughs> okay, you name them because I'm not good with Harry Potter okay. character names. Uh, first up, Gilderoy Lockhart, who's new and exclusive to this set, which is, like, incredible. I like how he comes with a wig in his little uh, area. I <laughs> um, also, I just want to note, because it's right next to him, that owl is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, We've not gotten a new owl print for in forever, so I'm excited about that. Next up is uh, Professor Sinestra. That one's really cool. We've never gotten her ever, and it's just a nice-looking minifigure. Yeah. Um, we got Harry, not too interesting. Colin Creevy, who I'm super excited to finally get because... Wait, that, he's... that's not Ron? No. Oh, I thought that was Ron. Ron and Hermione don't come in this set. Oh, I thought that was Ron. <laughs> Colin Creevy, who I'm excited to finally be getting because they've never made him. I mean, I, also, I think that's an exclusive face print for him, which is nice. Um, Luna, I mean, we've gotten a lot of Luna, but I'm glad it's not Cho. We've gotten a lot of Luna, but I don't think we've gotten Luna at this age yet, either. We've not gotten her at this age, and also... The Ravenclaw robes in, like, that style of Ravenclaw robes look so nice. Yeah, I love that, because you get close-up robes for all uh, four houses yeah. in this wave, because all but uh, uh, Slytherin come in this set. And... This set has all but Slytherin, and then the $20 set has three Slytherin, and the $30 set has a Slytherin, too. So Yeah. Um, do you think that's going to be next year's minifigure pack? Will be these robes? Uh, very possibly. Yeah. Um, the other thing... Yeah, yeah, probably. If we... Assuming we get one... Yeah. Most likely. Yeah. Um, but, uh, we got Luna. Really cool. And I just want to take a second. Those pixies are awesome. I don't even remember them from the movies, but they look alright. 
Um, it's just Baby Groot, right? No, no, that's an exclusive mold. No, I know it's an exclusive mold, but it's the same like style as Baby Groot, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Golden Voldemort, why is that here? But I don't know. <laughs> he feels so out of place. Nothing else to say there. Um, I don't remember this character's name. It's like Justin... Uh, Just honestly, Too Good? Just Too Good's in this set? No, I think... Just it, Too Good's in this set? I Yo. honestly don't remember his name, but it's... I, I, I know for sure they only included him to have the Hufflepuff robes available yeah. in that style. So, cool. Um, this Dumbledore feels like a really strong callback to the original waves, which is cool. I like, I like it. Um, I love the pink outfit. That's so cool. Yeah. Glow in the dark, uh, nearly had the snick is awesome. Yeah. That figure's incredible. I love that one. Like I have the original and this one is so much better and I think it's almost the same printing. It's just, this one glows in the dark and that is so cool. Um, then we have Jenny. Yeah. Jenny comes in sets. Yay. Okay. I know she came in sets last year, but. Yeah, but I'm glad she's coming again here. Uh, yeah. And then Tom Riddle, really Tom cool. Riddle is an awesome figure, too. Like, Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to buy the book to get him. Oh, he did come. Okay, I was, I was it's, curious. This is slightly different, but I'm not so much of a completionist that I need both slightly different versions of Tom Riddle. Like, if they did that for Ninjago, I would... Dare. No, actually, I wouldn't. I didn't do that for the Sensei Wu, but I will get him at some point. It, They're so slightly different. Yeah. Um... And then the Basilisk is quite good. Yeah, no, I love this set. Uh, I think it's incredible. And even though I kind of am not really a big fan of Harry Potter anymore, especially after J.K. Rowling, um, I, I love this set I, as a set. I, I no longer really associate her with Harry Potter. Like, yeah. Uh, but this is just a, a good set, honestly. I, I've gotten really into, like, fantasy world stuff now that, uh, number one, I've been, like, listening to some like D D podcasts and stuff and number two Ninja ninjago has transitioned to be a lot more fantasy heavy the past few seasons you should listen to the audiobook for that series i like so much i might uh i've actually the people i watch have actually mentioned that series as being like one of their inspirations so it is the great i'm, I'm listening to the audiobook now and that's why i'm recommending it it is yeah. the greatest series i've ever read i've like i mean this is my third time this reading. video was sponsored by audible yeah <laughs> This is my third time reading a third Do you want to say the name of the series so the viewers have any idea yeah. what we're talking about? It's called The Stormlight Archive, and the first book is called The Way of Kings. It's definitely way more adult-oriented. It is very difficult to read. It is super long. Each book is like 1,200 to 1,400 pages. Um, I mean, and and there there are definitely some adult themes in the, the books, but um, if you are like 16 plus, I highly recommend this series. Like, even if you don't read. Yeah. Find the audiobook or something. Yeah. I so might, I might uh, stick out the audio. Because I, I, they have actually mentioned, because like, they like do a Q&A at the end of the streams, and someone was like, hey, where do I get inspiration? And they were like, read Stormlight Archive. It's yep. <laughs> it's really good. So I might I might check it out, because I'm like, oh, hey, that's Matthew's book. <laughs> that is Matthew's book. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've been like getting a lot more into fantasy stuff, and because Ninjago's been so fantasy heavy, this feels like it, like it's a castle. You get the big, yeah. big old snake. Yeah. You get like it's so much here like i well, i mean I, I like ninjago for the fantasy stuff and that's always been the case yeah also that's, it comes it comes with asphira heads in gray and green yeah, like can yeah. we talk about how cool that is like it's, it's really cool and the other those th are not something that are in like the books or movies or anything like that's just i like, mean this, there this is like, snake statues in the movies but they definitely just wanted to make this piece yeah um, um the only but, thing that would have made it cooler is if they did whipper if they were whippers in this color scheme Holy crap! Like that, I would army build this set. That that would be the Geo Whipper. It would be the Geo Whipper, and then we would just need Cryo Whipper. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyways, moving on. That set's fantastic. Um, yeah, I really like the I like the Basilisk too. By the way, like I don't, yeah. I don't think we spent a lot on that, but he's very good. Much better than the 2018 one. <laughs> yeah. Um. Next up, Hogwarts Wizard Chess. I don't want to spend too long talking about this, but it's really cool. Yeah, I might get this one, I might not, but I'd be getting it as the chess set, not as a Harry Potter set. Yeah, I mean, I have always wanted a Lego chess set, and this is one with four exclusive minifigures, so... Yeah, no, this is really cool, and I love how it was done. If the chess pieces were minifigures, I would buy this day one, but... Yeah. They are not, so... I just noticed, it's like... Ew, the like, the tiles, like, each spot on the board isn't, um... Oh, well, I'm just like, this is weird. Why? Each spot on the what? board is only two by two. What? It's, no. This, sorry, the spot, like, each space is uh, two by four total. Huh? Right? No, it's four by four. 
No, but like the uh, like one black area is two by four. It's two. No, no it's four by four. What are you talking about? Every every space is four by four. No, it, it has like two uh, black tiles next to each other, and then two white tiles, and then two black tiles. What? Dude, are you seeing the same board? I'm. Oh wait, what? 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 The front of the box and the back of the box are different, dude. What do you mean? Look at how the tiles are done on the front of the box. Am I crazy? Yeah. Am I losing my mind? Dude, I think you're crazy because, like... I'm, I'm gonna share my screen with you. Okay. Yeah. Can you see it? Um, yeah. Okay. Look, that's just a 2x2, two two, right? That piece right there? No. Yes? That's a 2x4. So how is that a 2x4? Huh? Because, wait, you know, dude, it, it's, each space is 4x4, because, four four, look, each chess piece is... Um, okay, no, I, I, okay. You know, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry, the proportions were just really off for me. I see it now, I do see it now, okay. That was just throwing me off. <laughs> you need to put your glasses on, man. Like, I, I, it's easy to see here, but right here, like, the proportions of those, those look like 2x2s. Two two. Like, can you see my mouse? No, I, I see what you're, like, pointing at, but I don't see it. It's like, this just this only looked too wide right here. This looks really small. Huh. This does not look as wide as this is long. It's just a weird angle. It's it's just the angle yeah. you're messing with. Well, like, it, it, is, it is four by four in each space. So. Okay, sorry. That was a pointless conversation. It just really, really threw me off right there. <laughs> um, it is accurate. This set is very clearly just Lego releasing a chessboard. Uh, did I stop sharing? Can you still see my screen? Yeah, I cannot. Okay. This set is very clearly just Lego releasing a chessboard, but it, it's good. Like, yeah, I'm um, sure. Next up. Uh, next up, uh, chess, chess. This one is next. This one. Uh... I, like it. I think it's weird they didn't do Ant Man first. Right. Yeah. Like this is really, really well done. I just ask, what is the point? Like. What what is the I know why who this is for? Right, exactly. Like something like Ant Man, I could totally see, right? Because that makes sense for him to be big. Um, or even like Darth Vader or something, because that's like an iconic character. But if you put this on a sh like take Hermione, put it on a shelf next to somebody who has like never clocked a Lego, and go, who is that? They'll be like, what? What I is mean, the Harry's recognizable? Harry's recognizable because of the scar, but even still, like. Harry's, Harry Potter's not, like, a character you really, like, want to display a model of on your shelf. Like, you want to display Hogwarts, you want to display, like... I I don't... I think this is more, honestly, aimed towards kids, though. But it's $120, and that's, that's yeah. what LEGO's issue as of late, is they release expensive, huge sets for children that cannot afford them. I don't... Yeah, I don't get who this is for. Like, I... I I think they did it really well. I would love a... It would never happen, but I would love a Stone Warrior in the scale from Ninjago. That but cool. um, I just don't know who these are for, or who's going to buy these, or what the point of these are, or why they're $120. Well, I know why. They're 120 is fair, but it's just like, who's buying I, this? I, would, I think this would work better for Star Wars or Marvel. And not just Star Wars. Like, if they did a Stormtrooper and like a Darth Vader in the scale, yeah. But even like Luke, I don't think would... Be that great in this scale. I would like, kill for a stormtrooper and Darth Vader in this scale. Yeah, no, those would be cool <laughs> because it's like I think the helmet really like would make it cool, but just having like the the face print out, it's just weird. Like why, yeah. why this? And the biggest crime is it doesn't even come with a normal size minifigures. I know. I think that's so odd. I also just don't get the like. Why make this so big too? Like why not just do the giant man stone warrior scale for these and make it like forty bucks? Like yeah, I don't know. Like, if that would sell way better. Like, I think they would make way more money on that, but... I don't know, man. It's weird. It's, it's weird, but uh, not much else to say there. Something I uh, I just want to say is, a few years ago, I don't know if you knew this, but the, the land gift was a Santa in the Giant Man scale. Yeah, I did. Uh, I could see them doing that one year for Santa in, like, this scale. That would be cool, yeah. Yeah. Probably not this year, just because it'd be a little redundant, because that one was so recent, but maybe in a few years. Yeah. It'd be kind of awesome, not going to lie. Uh, um, next up, Fox. Fox, this is, looks better than the Owl. The Owl looks terrible, but... Uh, dude, I have the Owl now, and it's quite good. Like, it is not bad. I might be getting this one for Emma. 
This one's really nice, though. Yeah, and it's the... really elegant. And Emma loves birds, so I might... And she's yeah. a big enough fan of Harry Potter, so I I might be getting it's this exciting. one. I watched Ash and Flash's video on this, and he, like, flipped out, like, laughing at the title. Like, and he's like, this is the dumbest title ever. And I'm like, I don't get it. Like, I, I, could say it, I don't think it's the dumbest title ever, but it is kind of funny. <laughs> It's because it's it's again the it's the SEO stuff where they're like okay well the name of the phoenix is Fox so we have to call it Fox but we want people who search Lego Dumbledore as Phoenix to uh, find it so it's called Fox Dumbledore's Phoenix. <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't bother me. I just find it quite funny. The com the oh. com is kind of funny, man. Like they don't put commas in titles of sets ever. I don't know. I I, I, don't have an issue. <laughs> I don't have an issue, but now that you point that out, that is really funny. That's that's really funny. <laughs> Could you imagine that in a YouTube title like Fox Dumbledore's Phoenix Early Review? Like I <laughs> I, I guess the co the comma's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> Ashton Flash is making the joke like they should start naming sets like X Wing, like like Ecto One. Ghostbuster car. Yeah, that's literally that's exactly what this is. No, that's a good point. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Jay's Stormfighter. Jay's plane. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like. I love that. X-wing Starfighter. Luke's spaceship. <laughs> See, it it is funny. I I I agree. He it's, makes a good point. Other sets, it is funny. It's because they could have just called it Fox. Like Fox would be a plenty good title for that, but they they wouldn't get the SEO that way. So, and I, for I guess people may not know what that is search engine optimization, which is so that uh, it appears in search results easier. And if it just, if it's just called Fox, people who search Dumbledore's Phoenix will not get yeah, in like their Bob results. Yeah, Mickey Mech. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That a lot of a lot of Legos titles. Uh, like even the Avengers Tower has like some crazy name, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, they just add a bunch of words to the title, so it's... Which is crazy uh, that Lego has to do that, but okay. It's called marketing, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's called right, marketing, baby. I think baby this is the last set, thing. and this one's up there for really good. Yeah, I'm very mixed on this. Like, oh, this one's 30, okay. Um, figures, incredible, breathtaking. Um, uh, build is mediocre. The build is honestly just a decent expansion. It's much better than the fluffy one. Yeah. Also, it looks like it's like rearrangeable. I just noticed that. It is. All of these are modular. Like they're. Well, I knew they were like modular with the main thing. I didn't realize there was rearrangeable in the set itself. Um, yeah. I wish we got more Quidditch sets, man. I know. I, I know. guess we're getting the the. I guess there's the rumored uh, Quidditch pack this year, which is which cool. I am genuinely super excited about. I will buy seven of that. They should really now that. Are the, no, the 2018 sets are off shelves now, right? Kind of? Because the, Quidditch, the Quidditch Arena is one that, like, if they really that, I'd consider getting. You can still get it. Yeah, I, my sister has it, so I, I technically it's in the household, but... Okay. Um, I don't know, Quidditch... <laughs> I've talked before about how I think Quidditch is the stupidest thing ever, um, but it, it's, aesthetically it's pretty cool. It's like Sky Soccer. It's Sky Soccer, but the game just doesn't make any sense. No, it makes no sense. Like, I, I think I've talked about this before, but the the rules of the game, like, literally nothing in the game matters except for the snitch. One team yep. has to be incredibly awful for this. Like, not just bad, but, like, ungodly terrible for the snitch to not matter. Yeah. <laughs> it's... So it's not like, oh, Switch gi Snitch gives you a bonus five points and ends the game. It's like, no, the Snitch gives you 300 points, right? That's it? No, 150. 150, and how much does, like, a normal goal give you? I think 10. <laughs> yeah. Like, you have to be incredibly terrible at the game for catching the Snitch to not but win honestly, the game. honestly, okay, the thing that bothers me more is that Harry is just ungodly good for no reason. <laughs> well, he's the chosen one. Right. Um... I also I just like that we're so getting different characters, like Neville and Draco. I don't know. I, I don't feel like we'd get them in a 25. I don't feel like we get Draco in enough sets. No, for... we don't get Draco or Jenny in enough sets. Uh, yeah. They're we don't get like... Snape in enough sets, dude. Snape's coming... Th I think we talked about it. He's coming three sets total since 2018. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. And one of them's that the book from this year. 
Yeah. Besides the book, he is not coming to. We're on four. Yeah, including this this wave, um, he's coming three sets total, um, in four years. I'm not counting golden, isn't, obviously, because that isn't doesn't work. He like a golden figure. Yeah, he is, but uh, I'm not counting that one. Okay. Um, but I, I like this one. The Madam Pooch is really good. Um, remember all is cool. It comes with three of those clear pieces, which are very useful. Yeah, um, I ha I have quite a few of them now, but I remember back in the day when they weren't so common, and I those are really great pieces. Just What's a good the little yeah, like great. orb on the minifigure head? What? What's the little like minifigure head? Like trans clear piece. Oh, that's the remember all. Huh. What? Oh, is that like the what? What is that? Remind me of the context of the lore of that. It's like the the ball that Neville's grandma sends him, and you, if you hold it, it turns a red. If you're forgetting something. Oh right, right, right. God, and then um in, so in this scene, um Madame Hooch like runs away for some random reason, and Draco's like, "Hey, give me your ball," and he's like, "No, I don't want to," and then Draco's <laughs> like, "I'm gonna take it." And then he takes it and he flies away with it. And Harry's like, give him back his ball! Okay. And then he flies after him and kills him. <laughs> also, the set comes with Golden Quirrell, which we know, I know we all want. Yeah, I mean, that is the reason to get this set. I don't think uh, I talk about this in the podcast, but I do want to mention that someone pointed out to me that the reason Quirrell is probably golden is because he was the first minifigure ever to have uh, a dual-sided face. And that's what they're celebrating What's re-releasing him, which... Kind of dumb still, but I will give it that because it's a part of Lego's history. Um, however, I think if they released him, they shouldn't have done Voldemort because it's really silly that we have, what, six figures, five figures from the first movie and one from the seventh? Yep. Yep. But, uh, yeah, I'm more cool with Golden Quarrel now. I still don't get the Golden thing, but Quarrel, I guess I get. Even though it's coming, what, one set the entire, since 2018? Normal Quarrel? Yeah, he's Quirrell has been in one set. He okay. Outside of Golden Quirrell, there have been two Quirrell minifigures. One came in nineteen ninety nine. One came in twenty eighteen. So one was the first. So there's been three Golden Quirrell minifigures. One was the first dual sided face. One was just a reintroduction to the Harry Potter theme, and now he gets a golden anniversary figure. <laughs> a third of the Quirrell minifigures are golden. <laughs> um, that can transition us into our next topic because apparently, um. According to rumors, uh, a third of the Marvel CMF is going to be Captain America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, how do you feel about the Marvel CMF rumors? So, let's go over them for people who may not have heard. This is just rumored. They are not confirmed. But, um... <clears throat> they are not confirmed. So, let's go through them and talk about what the Marvel CMF is rumored to be. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, from WandaVision, we have Wanda in her Scarlet Witch outfit. We talk about them as we go through, like, what our thoughts on them yeah. are. So that Super one's, excited about this. Yeah, that one sounds awesome. It's a figure I really want, and I'm yep. excited what we're going to get. It's, I get, I'll admit, it's a little, like, I know we'll get that, a similar version of that for the Doctor Strange set, so it's a little disappointing that that is a CMF slot, but I'm you happy. You know, they change their costume, like, a ton every time, though. Yeah, that's I, my point is just, like, with everything else in the series... I would have been I would have been happy to give up that slot for a character that I know is not going to be in Doctor Strange. I know they're going to make Wanda though, and I'd rather get this version of Wanda than like Wanda from nineteen fifties in black and white. Yeah, yeah. Um, then we have Vision, White Vision, which I'm mixed on that one. I'm excited about it. <laughs> I'm very excited about that figure, but I also feel like we really need to re-release a normal Vision because he hasn't come to set in so many years. I feel like we will probably get him though. Oh, I guess Definitely. the the Infinity. Saga sets rumored for the summer could come with him. Yeah. There are any... I got... Yeah, maybe. It's possible, but... We'll get him eventually. I don't know. I'm yeah, I mean, play. I already have a regular vision, so I don't mind too much, but, like... I have two, so... Yeah, they're just, like, really, like, losing a mark of people who don't have a vision, but... And again, he's a character that, like, I assume will appear in some piece of media later down the line. The white vision. <laughs> so... Again, mixed on that, I'm very excited for the figure. I just think they should have re-released the original too. But as a collector who already has the original, this is very exciting. Uh, next is Monica Rambo. Perfect. Um, um, that one, very cool. This that was the one. one I was worried the most they wouldn't make. Yeah. So. Though we didn't get another one, which we'll talk about. I, let's go through the list and then talk about the ones they missed out on. Okay. Um, 
But yeah, uh, I'm surprised we got her episode. over another one. But yeah, she's she's cool. I'm very excited to see her. I'm curious to know what hairpiece they use for her because uh, she's got really cool hair. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a new one. Yeah. Um. Next, there's Falcon in his Captain America suit. That one's cool. That's fine with me. Yeah. yeah. Um. I don't have. I don't think I have any Falcon minifigure actually. Really? Yeah. I believe my, I get. I believe my sister has one, but I don't. Okay. Um. Yeah, but this is exciting, and that sounds good. Uh, Winter Soldier, again, good one. He hasn't been wide released in, since Civil War, I don't think, so... Oh, yeah. Because he, ha he had, like, the Toys R Us pack, but not everybody That was a that. really good figure. Yeah, so I'm excited for that one. I haven't seen the show yet, but I've heard it's really good, so I'm probably going to watch it at some point. I will watch it probably when it's finished, though. Um, I'm... Yeah, I, I, I've heard really good things about it, so I'm probably actually going to check it out, but... Uh, next, we have Loki... Makes sense. Cool. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I don't have a Loki, but um. I've heard we're getting bit. Throg. What? We're getting Throg. Are we? Who's yeah. Throg? Uh, Thor as a frog. I'm sorry. What? It's uh, an accessory for the Loki minifigure is rumored to be Thor, but a frog. That. Throg. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Next, I'm we're getting gonna... Lady Loki. What? I don't know what that is. I don't know either. Um, okay, and then next, the next five are some of the most disappointing figures of all time. Yep. Uh, so next we have What If Peggy Carter, Captain America, which is from the What If... So I was kind of hoping we weren't getting any What If figures. I know. Because while I think these are probably pretty cool figures, I don't care for them really, because I would yep. rather have canon characters we haven't gotten yet than just like random... What if Kev, Kev, Peggy was Captain America? Especially because there's rumor to be a set that also comes with this figure. I haven't heard that. I've seen that. Yeah, there's supposed. It's supposed that we're getting one like Disney Plus set, and it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be a Peggy Captain America set. I had not heard that. Yeah. So, if that's the case, that's really disappointing that she's also one of twelve minifigure slots. Yeah. Um. What if zombie Captain America? Probably will look cool. Not useful at all. Yeah. Uh, what if Steve Rogers was Spider-Man? Again, probably gonna look cool. Don't really need it. Um, what if Black Panther was Star-Lord? What does that mean? I, like, the idea of Marvel What If is kind of interesting, but then when I heard that that is one of the plots of one of the episodes, I was just like, really... Like, there's so many creative ideas, and what you come up with is what if character was other character? I mean, that's what half of these are. It's just... No, that's literally what all... That's what four out of five of these are. It's just what if character was other character. Mm -hmm. And that's just, like, not interesting. Like, give me some... Like, especially... That's the biggest one, because, like, at least, like, I could see a reality where Peggy Carter is Captain America. I could see a reality where yeah, Gamora is get, Thanos. Yeah, you get one that's, like, what if Hulk was Boruto sweaty? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, Steve Rogers' Spider-Man makes no sense, Black Panther's Star-Lord makes no sense, and I know it'll be an episode, but I just, like, why? It just, it just, it just feels like, oh, look, character in other thing. Like, it feels like what a... What you can say is they're pushing what if so much because they're targeting these towards kids, and kids are most likely to watch the animated show. Yeah, um, th this, this, the, the, what if feels like a how it should have ended. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that too. It feels like a Family Guy cutaway gag. Hey, Lois, what if the Black Panther was actually the Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh! <laughs> oh. Hey, it's me, the Black Panther. I'm the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> what are we, some kind of Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> so, uh, the, the I think the Steve Rogers Spider-Man and the Black Panther Star-Lord are the least interesting to me. Especially because I think I've seen concept art... And Steve Rogers' Spider-Man is essentially just a Spider-Man with American markings, and Black Panther Star-Lord is essentially Star-Lord, but purple. Um, yeah. I'm hoping that one at least has a decent face print, because we haven't gotten a great Black Panther face print yet, have we? We haven't gotten one, period. Okay, I didn't think so. I've seen so many customs, though, and I wasn't a big Marvel collector back then, so I didn't remember. So, hopefully at least we'll get a good T'Challa face print, and that'll be something from that figure, but I'm not that yeah. interested in that. Um, and then, yeah, what if Gamora was Thanos, which, I like my Guardian stuff, we haven't gotten a Gamora figure in a while, so, 
I'm kind of excited for that one, but again, I just would have preferred more WandaVision figures. Yeah. And even, like, even, uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, because even though I haven't seen the show, I know the main two, like, villains are not in there, so. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Uh, very weird. Yeah. Um, but, um, well, speaking, of, speaking of CMF. Yeah. Matthew got CMF. Matthew did get CMF. You got Looney Goons. Sure did. How do you feel about them? They look good. From from a distance. <laughs> Show your favorite one to the camera. That's not the right one. That's not the right one. Look at that. Oh my god. Yikes. That's literally the only printing on that entire figure. Yep. Does he, wait, does he have printing on the legs? Barely, and that's bad too. Yikes. No, nice. my favorite one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant by your favorite one. <laughs> I love how they just gave her an orange orb for a basketball. They didn't I know, even it's not it. a basketball. Look at that. Okay, t turn that back around. That does look like a really good figure, actually. It's th This is such a good figure. And the other one I'm really surprised I like as much as I do is this one. Yeah, he looked really good. I wasn't even planning to get this one today, but then I'm like, eh, I'll get six. Um, this one's good. Yeah, he looks great. He's this probably the best looking one in my opinion. This one's funny, but the torso print sucks. God, look how? At, Gee, look that, at that. that upsets me so Like, these figures are already, already so sparsely printed. That figure has uh -huh. like three colors on it. Uh -huh. Why can't you print it dark enough? Because that's um, something I have noticed, by the way, is... Um, because there was a period, what, 2018, where, like, every figure was printed poorly? Yeah. But nowadays, it's, like, very inconsistent. I've noticed figures that have more colors on the torso have worse quality of printing. Stop it. Stop it. Put that down. Um, <laughs> figures who have uh, more colors on the torso have worse quality of printing. But he literally has three colors. I know. Three fingers. I'm holding three fingers up. Um, no, I, I said three. I did this. I said three. <laughs> um, and then... I got Marv. I already showed you. I mean, you can't see how bad the eye printing is with the helmet on. And it looks good from afar, but if you put this under, like, screw... Like, if you watch my um, opening video, you see my live reaction, and I'm like, oh, that's bad. <laughs> like, I take it out of the packaging, and I think the first thing I say is like, oh, that's bad. That's just... And it's just upsetting, because, like, how do you increase the price or decrease the quality? Like, I don't know. Like, I want to go back to, like, 2017 through... Like, six, so like 16 to 8 through 18... Tw like, 2016 to 2018 figures were, like, so perfect. Like, they had sharp, crisp printing and high levels of detail. Why are these the same price? I don't know. Like, like... But even... No, I'm not even talking about the, like, amount of printing. Just literally, like, if you're going to charge me $5, like... Print it correctly. Like, don't, don't make it fuzzy and d disconnected and yeah. off-color. Like... This is great. Yeah, that's really cool. And, uh, uh, I I want to mention in our li the podcast where they were revealed, people got really upset that specifically you didn't know character names of Looney Tunes. I didn't read the comments for that one. <laughs> well, I I also think they may not have known I was because I think I referred to Bugs Bunny exclusively as Big Chungus in that yeah. episode. I don't know. I think somebody might may not have realized I was joking, um, because. Uh, someone kind of like it makes me feel old to hear two people who don't know Looney Tunes characters, and like I felt like I knew everybody in the series, so <laughs> except for Bugs, who I called Big Chungus. <laughs> I also didn't grow up watching Looney Tunes at all. I didn't watch, but I knew the characters well. Like Sylvester, I think I had to look at the like news article on the Looney Tunes to know that character's name, but I I knew the characters mm -hmm. well enough. Um, also apparently Tweety Bird's a man. Yeah, I found that out through the. I did get Tweety Bird also. Yeah. Such a weird not, figure. Not a great figure. Like, the head's good, but it's just not a mini figure. I do have to say, though, the six I have, looking at them all together, they look so good together. Why didn't you get Petunia Pig? Um, I don't want Petunia Pig that much. <laughs> that, it's weird, because, like, I think I'll get every other figure in the series, so part of me wants to get her just to have the full series. I, I, I will probably get her. But part of me also just doesn't want opportunity because I literally will not touch that figure. I would only be getting her to complete the series. I don't like that, Matthew. Put that away. That's not flesh tone, is it? It is. Like regular human flesh tone. One second. Oh god. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Matthew sick figure reveal. <laughs> oh no. 
put put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Put that away, Matthew. Get it. Get rid of it. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> oh wait, no wait. This oh no. Oh, you know the yep. bigger crime about this is, is the hips. Like like yeah. yeah that that one has hooves, but we have already gotten the legs on like the legs in that color before. Where have we gotten the legs before? I mean, not specifically, but I think we've gotten, like, bathing suit prints that could very easily be rubbed off. Okay. I don't, I didn't think we've ever gotten skin color legs before. Bathing suits are short. I'll have to look after this, but I'm pretty sure we have, so. Yeah. I know we've gotten them in yellow, like, bathing suit prints in yellow, so I wouldn't be surprised I, if we've gotten them in flesh as well. We got full yellow legs, like, 2019, though. Yeah, well, that that too, but I, I know before that they did. Like bathing suit prints, so I would I would not be shocked if they had done bathing suits or shorts in. Yeah, so uh, that exists now. Uh, they should, really should have made him like like the off tan color, like Jar Jar Banks color. Yeah, yeah. Not not human flesh. That's a little that's a little rough, Lego. <laughs> I mean, I'm not uh, complaining, but <laughs> also I just love how well the color of the torso matches up with the color of the legs. That's Dude, that's so color. disappointing. That's Here, so it's upsetting. It's easier to see, like, in the bad... Actually, no, it... Is no, it's it better the other way. It's obvious. The, the viewers can see. Yeah. It's terrible. That's so upsetting. Does he, does he have any back printing? Back torso Barely. printing. Really? Okay, no, that... I'll give, I'll give it that. That's something. Because so, that upsets me when they sometimes, like... Lo like, literally just put a fold on the shirt, I'm happy. But, like, just no back torso printing nowadays just feels so lazy. Also, this surprised me. That's a new tail. That's cool. That's really cool. I like that. This is probably my favorite figure I got. Uh, her, uh, him, and uh, Lola are my two favorites that I got today. Well, whose favorite isn't Lola? Like, come on. Yeah, I. They didn't have bugs, and bugs, big chungus would have been my favorite. But yeah, I'll, I I do like how like Lola is so much more detailed than everyone else, just because she was designed like decades later. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which just I guess because our like animation just had to be so simple, so the character well, we designs were about a million times. Yeah, so <laughs> like every figure just like has unprinted torso or like very basic torso, and then she just has like dull molded legs and very detailed torso. Um, yeah, yeah, they're they're <sighs> design wise good, quality wise e, price wise e. e. Um, um, we've been going for a while, but we do have one more major topic to talk about. No, this is a lot. We've had pretty short ones in the past couple weeks. So. Yeah, we can do it. We can do a long one, a long episode special. Anyway, yeah. uh, back to the brick fan. Lego what? Super Mario's Adventures with Luigi was revealed. Yes, it was. I'm going to buy this. Oh, I dude, I like. <laughs> I have such a love hate relationship with the Lego Mario theme. Like, I have love. I have a love relationship with the Lego Mario theme. Oh man, it's my favorite theme. Is it? Mario time. <laughs> Like, I talked about this, like, I talked last week about how I'm, like, was iffy on the whole Lego Mario system, and, like, okay, stop, stop that, stop it, stop, Matthew, stop, <laughs> stop it, stop, no more, <laughs> I don't want to hear that noise, turn them off, stop it, see you later, okay, let's talk about Luigi, <laughs> okay. Luigi! So, Luigi. I'm very mixed on the Lego Mario theme. I've expressed this before, and, like, after I got the three sets, like, last um, fall, I was like, okay, I get it. Cool, but I don't need any more. But then, but then, the Winter Wave was revealed, and I'm like, holy crap, they have purple now. And, for some <laughs> reason, literally, like, it's stupid, but my dumb consumer brain is like, purple, that's new, that's cool, you gotta buy the purple. So I, I, I didn't buy it, I got it from Land, but I got the one Wiggler set, which I haven't reviewed yet, and I enjoy it, that's a pretty decent set, but then I'm like, okay, now I'm done with Lego Mario, but then, these b big boys over at Lego are like, okay guys, Luigi time. This reminds me of that meme that's like, Nookling boys, it's time for your 3, uh, 3 p.m., uh, 3 a.m. tarantula buying, yes honey. Yeah. <laughs> Le uh, Lego fans, it's time to spend six spend sixty dollars on a figure you already have. Yes, honey. Because like, I want this really badly, and I know I I don't want to want this, but I really want this. I, I know. 
Like, I know I, it's gonna be Mario ex if he's gonna make Luigi sounds, and the starter set is literally the same thing, but the characters are slightly different. I have to say, this starter set is a much better build. Ah, uh, I guess I don't. I feel like the first one functions better as an actual starter set. Yeah, I definitely think the first. But one I know I think there is more going on here just because they want to entice people who already bought the first starter set. They kind of made the first starter set as simple as possible. And like you got me, Lego, because if this set released alongside the first wave, I would have gotten this one and not the Mario one. Mm -hmm. But because both are out now, I'm like, well, I kind of want this one too. <sighs> no, it upsets me because there's a part of my brain telling me you gotta hold it because I know they are going to do many figures in a couple of years. I know they are, but dang it, I want Luigi. Uh. Me, as a dumb consumer, is going to say, even after I said this is not worth $60, I'm going to pay $60 to get Luigi, because <sighs> I want both of them. I do want both of them. I do. Like, and another thing that I, it's a little scary, um, is the drip feed of, like, Mario characters is making me realize that, like, this is going to last a while. What do you mean? Because now they have done two of the Koopalings... Or I guess three if you count Bowser Jr. There was one in Bowser Jr. was in the original Mario Star set. The uh, what Lenny was in the the like the pseudo mm -hmm. starter set from this year, and now Boom Boom is in uh, this set. And I think there like there's like seven or eight Koopalings or something, and it looks like they're being like relegated exclusively to starter set type builds. So, that's a little yikes, just because I want minifigures, and it looks like this is going to be around for a while. Well, I... Also, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a new um element to make it look like the Goomba's walking. Yeah, I saw that. I don't like that very much. It seems kind of pointless. I don't know, it just adds a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm going to assume we're going to get another CMF, which I'm here for. Um... I still need to finish the first two, man. <laughs> Dude, I, 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 you can't get to the first one anywhere anymore. Really? I cannot find it. Really? Oh, I said it was still available. Is no, it on Lego.com? What? Is it on Lego.com? No, it just disappeared. Oh, really? Huh. How much is, are the figures of Bricklink? I have not looked, but probably not too much. Yeah. I've got but half of it, so I can't I've kind this. of, like, swallowed the Lego Mario red pill. I mean, <laughs> I... <laughs> Uh, you're, you're Mario filled now? Yeah, I'm based. Based and Mario filled. And yeah. another thing is the pink Yoshi means we're probably getting the other seven colors of Yoshi. Or six colors. We already have green. Which, um, cool, I like that. My dumb consumer brain's like, yes, make all the Yoshi colors. I want to collect them all. But my wallet is like, please don't make all the Yoshi colors. I don't need any more. Yes, um. But now, now you see this, you gotta get the green Yoshi, right? Because you can't just have pink Yoshi, can you? Yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to buy Mario's house. I, I hate that I like this theme so much. <laughs> I do too. Like, cause, oh. dude, I did not think I would ever say I like stupid Lego Mario toy for babies. Like, I'm gonna have to like really this summer really because uh, I get off my my semester ends in two weeks. I'm gonna have to really sit down with the Super Mario theme, like the sets I have, um, over the summer and just like figure out what what I want to do with this because. <laughs> Like, to be fair, I have my opinions on it, but I haven't actually spent that much time with it because I've been on campus and the stuff's been at home, so I, like, played with it a little bit, I filmed my reviews, and then it sort of went in a bag. You but... didn't take Mario with you to school? What? You didn't take Mario with you to school? I mean, I built him at school, and I, like, tried it out for the first time there, but then I brought him home and left him home. How do you not keep him at school? I oh, <laughs> Dude, I sleep with Lego Mario right on my nightstand. <laughs> uh... Every morning I wake up to a... <laughs> I think what's so intriguing about the Lego Mario theme is Mario makes really fun sounds when you move him around. I think that might be why I like it so much. Like when he stop, like he makes really satisfying sounds when you stomp on the Goomba. Yeah. Oh, man, like if you want, if you want a little example of that. But see, like, <laughs> we talk about Lego Mario, then you do that, and I'm like, wow, that is so stupid. I hate that. But then I'm like, I'm gonna drop $60 on friggin' Luigi. 
And the worst part is, I might actually go to the Lego store day one and purchase this with real life money. I know, I know. Dude, I'm honestly considering, like, pre-ordering it if I can. Because, like, I... the first one I got from LAN, but now that I already have the first one, I kind of want, want this one. Also, I'm kind of curious, how are the costumes going to work with Luigi? My guess is he's, he's like, they're probably going to work with him, but he's also going to get his own set. Yeah. Uh, can we have Peng Penguin Luigi? I hope so. I would buy a second penguin just to display them both as penguins. Dude, <laughs> I hate that I want Luigi more now that I have Mario. I know, like, right? Now, to me, I, I can, I think I can confidently say if, if this was revealed, I don't think I, initially, I don't think I ever would have got Mario himself. I, but, I probably would have because I like Mario more, but. Yeah. But yeah. But then, another thing that worries me is, in a year, are we going to get a Princess Peach starter pack? Probably. <laughs> Because considering she hasn't been... What if we get Waluigi and Wario? That's possible too, because none of them have been NPCs yet. Like, and I, like, I assume if they were planning to be NPCs, they would have just made them like Yoshi, where you just talk to them, right? And that's their mm -hmm. gameplay function. Mm -hmm. They haven't. Though, okay, to be fair, another thing I could see... I know I mentioned this to you before, as I had wished the... Instead of costumes, we had gotten alternate characters for as, like, individual mm -hmm. packs... I could imagine that now that they're doing Luigi, Luigi is the starter pack for this year, and then they also release, uh, not, it wouldn't be $10 based on how much starter packs are, but like $20, 20 or $25, like just Wario, just Waluigi. Mm. Like, I think, I think that could be possible, but. No, I think they're going to make $60 sets. They're not also, I'm curious, like, how is this theme going to work in terms of sets retiring? Because the starter set can't retire while this system exists. Um, I mean, they can keep a set out for a long time. Yeah. I got, yeah, Death Star was around for so many years. I just, I don't know, you don't see... I, I kind of want to get the starter set from this year, too, like the starter expansion set. I know, dude, I don't want to want these things, but I really want them. I I'm not even that... that big of a Mario fan! I know, I, I, I played, I played the games when I was a kid, but, like, I'm not, like, Mario posters and Mario clothing and all that, I like... <laughs> I don't... Dude, I, literally, literally, the course I have on my desk is this. It, it, it's the the pipe that starts the game and the flag that ends it with a two by four connecting them. This is the course on my desk. Yeah, that's have, that's the Lego Mario speedrun course. I know. I just have a bunch of characters on my desk, and I just like start it, knock them out, and just like end it. And I'm like, oh, I got twenty five coins this time. It's so dumb. It's my dumb consumer brain and my dumb child brain. It's just like <laughs> I want, I want to collect the imaginary coins. I want to collect the coins and make my course, and I don't want to. I don't. I would save so much money if I didn't like this theme. I know. I would save so much money if I didn't like Lego. I would save so much, but like this theme especially is like ah. Uh, actually, to be fair, I've I've You've spent, not spent any money on it. No, 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 no. I've spent twenty dollars on this theme. I have spent. I've spent like. Not counting the CMF, I have spent ten dollars. Or no, no, you know, okay, yeah, I spent ten dollars because I got the I got the Toad set for free. That's right, yeah. Oh wait, how'd you get it for free? I used VIP points. Oh okay. I kind I regret not getting that when it was available. That set is awesome, and I'm so glad I have it. I feel like Toad will come in another set. Like prob probably, he doesn't come in any sets from January, does he? No, he no. doesn't. I, I I think he'll come in a set in the summer though. Is it bad that I'm genuinely excited? No, to see you know what? what? You know what? No, you know what they're gonna do is what? Toad is gonna remain exclusive to that set, but they're gonna release like Blue Toad or Yellow Toad in one of these oh, sets. Oh, oh. We have Pink Toad already. Well, that's Toad. That's a different character. Oh okay. Um, I. God, Lego Mario is like the consumer toy, isn't it? It's literally just like, here's er it's the same exact thing but in different color. It's literally what Luigi is just Mario in a different color. It's a different mold. It's a different mold, but it's Mario in a different color. It's Mario in a different color. Um, also, always... what's going to happen? I'm going to... I assume there's probably going to be something if you swap out Mario and Luigi's default outfits to each other, too. Maybe? Because, um... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Not necessarily, because there's not that much coding they can do with six pegs. I mean, how does it... De like, how does it detect that versus the penguin outfit? Because they're both blue, right? It's the software encoded, so... It's gonna knock down these pegs in a different order. So if, oh. you look, if you look at the inside of these, they're different peg orientations. Oh, okay. So it's like binary. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so there's a limit to so what six six digit binary is the yeah. limit to how many? So what's what's that? Uh, two 
four, However, two, four, each, eight, sixteen. I think, I think each 32. suit has only had um, two big lines and four small, so it's possible they could do like three big lines and three small. And okay, yeah, it's, it's uh, sixty-four combinations total. So now I think Luigi will have a different or uh, combination because he's his outfit's dark blue, not the normal blue. So I think they're. Like they're differentiating that on purpose. It, no, no, no. It doesn't read the uh, color. No, no. I know it doesn't read the color, but it's just so the consumer knows that this is the Luigi yeah, outfit. This yeah, is the yeah. Like I think if it functioned exactly the same, they would make it look exactly because I don't. I don't believe officially Luigi's outfit's any darker than Mario's. Like in any I've official seen, media. No, I've seen other media like depict his darker. Uh, let me Google search Mario and Luigi right now. Um, I think I think his might be darker. Uh, Mario and Luigi. Okay, you know, you're you're right. It's slightly darker. My guess is they will function if you sw like switch them out. Like, they'll be the same thing. I don't think... I, I got a feeling uh, it'll be... Did I shout out the members at the beginning of this? I don't think I did. Shout out to the members for helping support the channel, who are... A special, a special thank you to Pyroper Tier and Above, who are... Uh... The channel has been deleted. Um, sorry to hear that. <laughs> the Real Hoodie Gang and Suntan. Thank you very much for helping support the channel. If you want to become a member, join button below. Right, anyway. Uh, let's, let's end this because you've been going for a while. Yeah, time. we're just ranting about how much we don't want to like Lego Mario, but how good of a theme it is. <laughs> it's not even that great of a theme. It's, it's a terrible fun. theme. It's a really bad theme, but it's really fun. <sighs> Lego Mario, it's... any percent speed run. Yeah. What does any percent mean? Any percent means you don't have to, like, do everything in the game. You just have to get to the end credits. Okay. Like, 100% speedrun would mean, like, get every gold brick in LEGO Star Wars. 100% oh, okay, okay, would just okay. be, like, okay, get that, to so the end credits. Any percent means, like, not complete. Yeah. Um, and it could also, sometimes, uh, any percent could also mean, like, like, if there's a glitch to get to the credits in three seconds, any percent would count that. But then there's any percent glitchless. <laughs> anyway. Okay. That's been a podcast. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let us know what you think of Lego Mario in the comments below, and if your dumb consumer brain wants to buy it just like ours does. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about all. This is going to be like an hour, ten minute podcast. Um, if epic. you watch this far, comment Mario. Uh, that's spelled M A R Y O O. Just like video. Yeah. M A R I Y O. <laughs> yeah, it's spelled like that. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed. Press like, subscribe if you're new. We do these every Wednesday for Sensei Wu Wednesday. Remember to buy products and consume products. Don't question anything. Thanks for watching, sure guys. See affiliate you. link down in the link below. Yeah, if, yeah, I'll do an affiliate link for Amazon China, which is where this leaked, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Dude, I don't have an end credit scene. That was a crazy podcast. Oh, sorry. How's let's just talk Lugga Luigi. 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 What do you get when you cross a mentally ill loner with a society that treats him like trash? You get Lego Mario Luigi. Yeah, I was gonna say that, yeah. Wow, incredible. Thanks for watching everybody.